With just a month to go until the global launch of Be Careful What You Wish For, the next book in the Clifton Chronicles series, publishing executives from around the world travel to meet with each other and the author Geoffrey Archer to plot final logistics. That's the American and that's the British. We hold the meeting in Mallorca these two days is to plan the global launch of the new book for Geoffrey Archer. What I hope we'll get out of two days here is a clear set of plans for making the publication of Be Careful What You Wish For the number one bestseller in every territory in the world. This time what, we, what we've done at this meeting is uh, brought in Kelly from the States. So this is our first time that we're really taking a global approach to the whole campaign. In the US, Jeffrey Archer is known only as a best-selling writer. Um, he's been a best-selling writer for 30 years longer um, since the publication of Cain and Abel when he became a major, major bestseller and, a, and I'd say a household name among writers. I think the new book is going to do very well. We've had some growth from book one to book two and again to book three, which is really unusual for a series to grow like this um, and not settle in a, in a, in a, at a level. And I, I think you know, all indications are that the fourth book is going to continue that growth um, across formats and continue to widen his audience. We see the first book continuing to sell and sell and sell, which indicates that new people are finding the series all the time. And we're really excited. That's our goal, is to grow, not, you know, not just reach the same people who bought the first three books, but to reach more people. Ebooks are incredibly important. The way we tend to um, deal with ebooks in our business is to see them as just another format. We have audio, we have ebook, we have paperback, we have hardback. And the way that we build our campaigns is really format neutral. It's about the book. And the branding is the same on the ebook, the audio, the hardback, the paperback, the, um, the marketing campaign encompasses all of those and leads you to whichever format you prefer. The predictions at this stage are all signs are good. Um, we've had absolutely consistent growth with every single book in the series. That's quite unusual. Sometimes within series there's a kind of dip at some point, um, but with Jeffrey, he just keeps readers hooked and every time we get more readers to the series as well, we get people coming back to the first book. So it's not just about growth book on book, but it's also about building the backlist as well. I don't play the violin. I'm not a ballet dancer. I write books and every day the ideas come, morning, noon and night. It is luck. Got to work hard. There's no shortcut in doing anything that's successful. Authors who say, well, there's the book, you do everything, are foolish. I get deeply involved. I like to know the texture of the paper. I like to see the print. I like to see the cover. I saw 12 covers before we chose the current one. I like every single aspect of the book. If it's going to fail, it's going to be my fault. 